Hey, hey, hey. Good morning. We are in Santa Fe, New Mexico, and we are walking to the starting line for the Santa Fe Run Around. Santa Fe Run Around. 5K. Stick around. joining us we know we uh, missed the week but it was a boring week really yeah. if we had given an update it would have been exactly the same as the week before oh, arrow gardens are growing yeah. i finished a puzzle right. we baked a loaf of bread right. the weather was weird <laughs> like uh, nothing's going on over here but we prepped for that uh, santa fe runaround we 5k a 5k yeah and it was uh it was really nice you know it, it, it was kind of crazy i think what was the temperature here when we left like in the 50s? 50s? Yeah, we yeah. left. Temperature was in the 50s. We got to Santa Fe, New Mexico, and uh, race day was a, a at its peak, 84 degrees. <laughs> we uh, are, <laughs> A, used to the cooler weather, yeah. let me tell you what, oh, yeah. and B, oh. I am white as a sheet. So this is like <laughs> one of the first times my arms have been out. We were in Santa Fe, so I didn't have to wear leggings. Yeah, right. My legs are so white. They <laughs> haven't, haven't seen the sun, seen the in, sun in so long. And, you know, in Texas, yeah, right. <laughs> even in winters, we were going, you know, the sun could see our skin in place. I don't know. Uh, but, but, you know, uh, the race was really fun. It was hard because an entire mile and a half, <laughs> the first half of the race, is literally uphill. So we knew that. Yeah. And, um, you know, I, I, look at, I looked at the elevation and... I guess I haven't figured out yet when I see a number for elevation increase, what that actually feels like. I haven't like retained that oh, information. Yeah. I just knew it was going to be uphill for the first half for its own back, uphill for the first half, downhill for the second half. Mm -hmm. And it was. It was. Um, what I didn't take into consideration was that it was uphill into the sun <laughs> for the first half. Oh boy, it was. It was warm and it was, um, it was challenging, but it was really neat. And it, it, um, it benefited a really cool organization called Girls on the Run, which uh, works with elementary-aged girls to, you know, 
uh, help run, build relationships, you know, encourage each other, girl power, all that stuff. Yeah, it's yeah. awesome. And, and you know, uh, mm -hmm. like... Uh, uh, really uh, uh, self-esteem and, mm -hmm. and, and positive mm -hmm. attitudes about themselves. Matter of fact, one of the uh, little girls sang the national anthem mm -hmm. and, and it was wonderful. It was really neat to see uh, parents with their kids, sponsors with their mm -hmm. kids, uh, coaches with their uh, yeah. with kids. I've never and, seen a uh, race with so many, you know, fourth yeah. graders and below. There were a lot of kids and it was, it was so cool to see all these girls out there mm -hmm. running. It was really and funny. the volunteers were fantastic. And there were so many supporters along this really long route uh, because it's all uphill. Uh, but at the finish line. The finish line was fantastic. Mm -hmm. And by that point, let's be honest, I was feeling pretty rough. That <laughs> hill hit me harder than yeah. I wanted it yeah, to. It and I was not feeling super great. I also had some margaritas <laughs> and some beers the night we, before. We hydrated. We went to before. one of our favorite breweries <laughs> in town, which is called Knuckles Brewery. Yeah. Um, it's <laughs> or brewing. It's um, wonderful. They have great food. We got a good pretzel. Um, got a carb up. We got we got some uh, some beers. Um, and before that, we had a margarita at the rooftop bar at the hotel. More about the hotel later, mm -hmm. um, which was delightful. Oh, yeah. And then the hotel also had uh, not only free breakfast, which is you know a lot of hotels sure. do that. And it was um, good. Yeah, free breakfast. They also had like free dinner, basically like free snackies mm -hmm. at dinner. And like a free happy hour, so we could have gotten three drinks each. We knew we wanted to go to the brewery, so we didn't do that, but we did get one free drink each. So, all that to say, I wasn't feeling too hot while I'm running uphill in the sun and weather hotter than I felt in almost a year yeah. now. So, um, I wasn't feeling great. But we came down, came into the plaza, came into like the finishing area. People. So, so many supportive. people and yeah. so much cheering yeah. and like, and we were, it took us. 40 minutes to finish this thing like we're, we're towards the like you know the, the crowd's starting to thin a little bit finishing but everybody was like so supportive and it was awesome actually yay for us we came in under 40 minutes and it's been a long time um, by, by some seconds under 40 yeah, minutes hey man um <laughs> and you know uh, if you've never been to santa fe it is a beautiful place mm -hmm. lots of history and and just being in that area mm -hmm. it, it, it's it's really wonderful um, the, the, again, the hill was really tough. Yeah. I, I am injured. Uh, my, uh, uh, groin, groin my, uh, hasn't gotten better. And it was, it hit me about, um, an eighth of a mile in going uphill and it was painful the whole way and painful the next day. So I'm going to have that looked at. Yeah. And, As a doctor's uh, appointment next week. Yeah. Not this week, so next week. Uh, pretty bad. But, uh, with all of that. Um, we had fun and we, we did all right. We, we did okay. One thing we did, um, come to a realization of is that running on a treadmill in no way prepares you to run like that. So we've been, um, since the winter, we've been kind of hitting the treadmill. We're getting more used to it. Mm -hmm. Um, and really all it's doing is moving our legs and getting our heart rate up, yeah. but it is nothing compared to going out no. and running hills. Yeah. So not that we have any more races, um, around here on the horizon, the immediate horizon. Um, but we're gonna start, I think, once David uh, David's hip flexor or whatever is pulled in there, heels, um, we're gonna get back to running outside because that, right. that um, trail running that we were doing around here really, I think, prepared us well for the races that we ran yeah, in January true. of this year. Yeah. Better than the treadmill. Yeah. And course. even though we don't have any uh, races in the immediate horizon, we do have mm -hmm. races, right? We're gonna mm -hmm. do springtime surprise mm -hmm. next year. Mm -hmm. We're looking at we'll a, marathon a marathon in uh, January. Mm -hmm. So obviously- Possibly the um, uh, Calgary Marathon as well. That's still mm -hmm. on my list. That's uh, uh, Memorial, actually that's next weekend. It's Memorial Day weekend. Yeah. Um, but maybe mm -hmm. next year we can do it. This mm -hmm. year we have, we have plans, yeah. but. Yeah. So uh, that was great. And we stayed at a perfect location, the Drury Hotel. We walked to the start line it was awesome. in a leisurely fashion. Mm -hmm. We got there on time, oh, with plenty of time to spare. It was just about a block away in a very beautiful setting in historic uh, uh, old Santa Fe. Mm -hmm. Uh, the rooftop bar. It was so nice. Uh, Apparently, beautiful. it just reopened. It closed mm -hmm. during COVID, and it just reopened. I think this last week, a or week maybe ago. the week before. Yeah, yeah. So it was wonderful, yeah, beautiful. beautiful, great, great mm -hmm. views. Um, we could see lots of the sights mm -hmm. from up there. Oh, I had some really good stuff. Uh, really, really, the, the staff was fantastic. Uh, I mean, <laughs> the room was beautiful. 
Um, oh yeah, we checked in and they said, oh, we've, we've upgraded you Ooh. to a room with a terrace. Ooh. So we, it was actually on the ground floor, but we had this like kind of little porch yeah, area. Yeah, just so uh, nice. absolutely beautiful. Uh, but we, we had some trouble sleeping. I had a terrible night's sleep. I think that was also part of the reason that I um, had such a hard race was that two margaritas and two beers, but then I couldn't sleep them off. I was just tossing and turning all night long. Um, the bed was comfortable. The oh, yeah. room temperature was comfortable. Yeah, the pillows were comfortable. Yeah. Everything was fine. Mm -hmm. But I had these crazy stress dreams all night long. Mm -hmm. The first one was about work. Thanks a lot, work. <laughs> so I, you know, I'm, I'm dreaming like, oh, there's somebody presenting these numbers. Where'd they get these numbers? We need to check them. Oh, I'm like, this is, this is not the dream I need to be having on a Friday night because yeah. my week is over. Yeah. Um, and then after that, I had this crazy dream that if we're at home and it's the middle of the night and you know, we live in the middle of nowhere, mm -hmm. right? And somebody's rapping at the door, <laughs> just like yeah. knocking at the door. I'm like, what in the world? Yeah. We, who's at our house in the middle of the night knocking yeah. on the door? We live in the, like nobody yeah. would be around it, us. It was weird yeah. too. Cause when, when we woke up in the morning, I asked her, how are you doing? And she, and she told me all this and she's like, and, and it was like somebody was just constantly knocking on the door. And then we find out it's haunted. We stayed in a haunted hotel without knowing it. <laughs> so on their website, right? So, you know, I was trying to find a hotel and mostly I was trying to find a hotel that wasn't gonna cost us $600 a night because that's like what everything else yeah. was, for whatever reason, I don't know what was going on or why all the rooms were booked mm -hmm. and there were only really expensive ones left. I was just trying to find something where we wouldn't spend so, 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 so much money. This wasn't a cheap room, but it wasn't that much, right? And it's like, okay, this is great. It's a couple blocks from the start. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. We don't have to worry about yeah. parking. We'll just be there yeah. and you know, whatever. So- um, We had no idea. On their website- we had no idea. Oh, here's another reason we picked this hotel. So we like, it's a guilty pleasure. And you know what? We're proud of it. It's yeah. not a guilty pleasure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a pleasure. Yeah. We like watching crappy Christmas movies <laughs> from say October through January. Yeah. We watch nothing yeah, but watch like Hallmark, uh, over and over. Lifetime. New ones. You know, Netflix <laughs> is doing them now. Like everybody yeah, is yeah. like kind of weird Christmas yeah. movies. One of them is called Holiday in Santa Fe. It stars Mario Lopez. Yeah. And it is, it takes place. It's actually pretty charming. And, and it, we really like yeah. the movie. The antagonist, who of course from the big city, who comes around. No spoilers. In the, in the well, it's a formula. <laughs> she comes around in the end to you know this kind of small town. She living. stays at the Drury. She stays at the Drury. This so very Drury. We're like, oh man, that's great. Oh, that's we great. gotta great. stay. Okay. It's haunted. So, we had no idea. And here's so the th here's the thing. When we read up on it, and we're staring <laughs> we at each other. We definitely wouldn't have stayed there if we knew. Of like it. Ashen, <laughs> one so, of the hauntings is that people oh. hear knocking. <laughs> in the middle of the night, <laughs> repeatedly. Okay, we're totally in an auto room. Um, I don't normally have stress dreams like that, but it was all night long, nothing was stressed, couldn't sleep, whatever. And, okay, so here's the history of the building. It's haunted. So it goes way back, I'm, I'm not gonna give you the whole history because I don't remember the first part of it, <laughs> but the, the most recent part that I can tell you is that uh, this structure was built in the 1950s as a hospital. How many people do you think died in that building? Lots. Anyway, so it's a hospital. Um, the hospital closes in the 70s, I think, the late 70s, but then it becomes like office space, and I learned as well a nursing home. And so all this, meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, apparently everybody knows it's totally haunted. <laughs> It popped up on a list of uh, the 10 most haunted hotels in New Mexico. It was at least number 10, so it's not like it was number one. We had but it no was idea. on the list. Um, I, I've, oh my gosh, I found so much about this hotel after we spent the night there. It's, so it was lovely. Oh yeah. If we didn't know it was haunted, we would probably stay there. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> but I don't think I can it stay really there is. Again. It's a beautiful place. Uh, really, really well kept. The staff was fantastic. It was the really food, wonderful. The food, the beverages, the hot water the, was hot immediately. Oh man, you know, the, like little things like that. It was great. But well, <laughs> anyway, anyway. <laughs> if you're interested, that was fun. It was. Uh, it was a great hotel. You should, yeah, you, I yeah. would go. Uh, I mean, maybe you'll see a ghost. Uh, make sure you take uh, uh, your proton pack. <laughs> uh, 
I mean, it was, it was, uh, it was an adventure. <laughs> totally, totally. So there you go. You know, that was uh, our weekend. That was our weekend. And then we got to run some errands. We were in the big city. Oh yeah. We go, you know, you go so to the town. You got we go went to, to the town. liquor store. Oh, we went man. to the fabric store. Yeah. Um, when we first rolled into town, we did stop by the running store to pick up our oh, race yeah. packets. Yeah. Uh, so we didn't have to worry about that in the morning. It's really but, neat. Um, really neat. I mean, it, was and a, it, it was a neat little. It's trip. weird being around uh, so much traffic My and so many people. Gosh, because, there were so many people. Yeah, because we don't we don't have that anymore. Santa Fe is not even like a huge town. Yeah, but yeah, we're, but we have um, we've yeah. acclimated to the weather. Yeah. We've acclimated to not being around yeah. a lot of people. Anyway, we're still waiting for the uh, results uh, to pop up just to see how we officially did. But I I feel good about what we did and how we felt. I mean, injury and you know haunting. <laughs> And you know, all, hang over. All, yeah, hang over. <laughs> all that aside, we had a blast. Uh, our first official race since January of this year, mm -hmm. and, and only uh, the second one that we've run in New Mexico. Oh yeah, that's oh yeah. And the first one, they called it a five k, but my, my tracker said it was closer to like <laughs> two and a quarter. It wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't five k. Yeah. I mean, they had one volunteer, so you know they did a great job. It was really nice. So uh, with that said, uh, wow. What a what a weekend! We had. <laughs> so next week we get to spend the night in uh, a couple of hotels as well. Yeah. Um, I don't think the true Hilton has a history of being. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. True but by Hilton we'll, has a history. We'll of being let you know. Time. You know, we might have yeah. to start buying some uh, FLIR and uh, some uh, night vision goggles, all that kind of stuff. Maybe this is a new thing for us to do. Uh, I don't think so. We're afraid of cats, by the way. This <laughs> oh, is yeah, not like the, the kind of stuff uh, that we seek out. Uh, we don't even watch uh, scary movies. Hmm. Yeah. You know? So. Uh, well, some of those Christmas movies can be a little... No, they're not. Are you talking about <laughs> Christmas Carol? Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. Jacob Marley. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Let us know how you're doing. Please send us comments. We love hearing from you. Have any of you stayed at Haunted Hotels? Yeah, yeah. Hotels? Uh, Share your ghost stories. On purpose or accidentally? I mean, <laughs> wow. It is always an adventure with you. We'll see you next week.